important. I want to go into the latest little controversy here, yeah. Top Ice Cube and yeah. Platinum Plan and sure. his contract with Black America. I know I look incredibly young, but I actually have lived long enough to remember back when rappers loved President Trump, right. Donald Trump, before right. he was president. A lot of celebrities. Some still do. Yeah. Some still do. <laughs> A lot of celebrities, black yeah. celebrities. That's true. Were great friends from Oprah, whatever. A lot of. Right. Jesse Jackson had nice things to say about you. Might still, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Might yeah. still. What? You know, he called me, he wanted to get Blagojevic out, right? Because Blagojevic was in for 18 years. And Jesse Jackson, I will say this, he was so intent because he thought he was. I don't know if they're friends or not friends, but he thought he was so unfairly treated. And I gave him uh, a commute of his sentence. I got him out. No, Jesse Jackson's good. He's a good person. What do you think, what changed your relationship with black celebrities, entertainers? Is it just the power that you now have? or? And, and I think we're coming full circle, actually, because it's very interesting. Uh, so you're right. I was in, I think, 87 big rap songs. It was always Trump, Trump, Trump this. Trump. And my daughter would call me, somebody would call me and say, Dad, you're in another song. I said, great. And, and you're right. And I had a lot of good relationships. Even Oprah, her last couple of shows, you know, it was a big deal who was going to be her last week, I guess her last week. I was on her show for the last week. In other words, the entire show was devoted to, I think, five different people. Yep. I was one of the five. Oprah liked me and maybe still does, I don't know. But Oprah was great. They were all great. And when I ran for politics, it was like, you know, we talk about the wall, right? There was like a wall, a little bit a wall. But now with time, you know, it's four years. I've done a lot. Nobody's done for the black community what I've done with criminal justice reform, prison reform. President Obama could never get it passed, could never get it through. I don't know if he tried, but he couldn't get it through. Bush could never get it through. I don't think they tried. Everybody wanted criminal justice reform. I got it done. And nobody else could have gotten it done. What I had to do to get it done with people that normally would not be going for it, okay? It was pretty amazing. Prison reform, opportunity zones with Tim Scott. You know, Tim, I don't know if you know, Tim Senator Scott, Tim yeah. Scott mm -hmm. is a fantastic man. He's a fantastic person. He came to me with this idea of opportunity zones. It was, I thought it was good. I didn't know it was going to work because over the years they've tried so much. It's an unbelievable success. And mostly with the African-American community, the Hispanic community. It's been a great success. Uh, and other things, I'll tell you, historically black colleges and universities, they had no money. Every year they'd come to see me and I'd say, why do you have to come back every year? And I got friendly with some of the heads of the colleges and they do a great job. But every year they had to come back looking for funding. I said, you should have a long-term plan. and. I worked it out, and I gave more money than they asked for. They can't believe it. I said, the only bad thing about me doing this is I won't maybe ever see you again. I gave them a 10-year funding plan. They never had that. And one of the really good guy, I won't say who, I don't want to embarrass, but he said, they make us come back, we feel like beggars. Every year they had to come back. I took care of the funding for historically black colleges and universities long term, and more than they asked for. I said, you're going to need more than that. And it was an honor to do it. And, you know, it's very interesting. And I've really, I mean, if you go poll numbers or whatever, but the relationship that I have with the black community is really gotten very good. I have great support now. Well, we've seen Ice Cube work with you right, guys. That's right. 50 Cent, another right. popular rapper, has right. endorsed you, I, Kanye. Yes. Are we seeing a turn where people are starting to evaluate you on your record and policy and performance rather than personality. I think so, and I think what else has happened is for a hundred years, the Democrats have had the black vote. A hundred years. I mean, it's been forever. And they look at Baltimore, look at Oakland, look at all these places that are doing horribly. And I think a lot of people are saying, hey, wait a minute, this is not right. We've been, you know, automatic. It's almost like, I don't know why they keep going. It's a habit. It's almost a habit to vote for a Democrat. And now you have a lot of people going into the Republican Party, black representatives. You have a young woman in Baltimore, I think. Good I don't place. know. Yeah. She's fantastic. I don't know if she can she win or not, because, you know, it's like almost 100 percent Democrat, but it shouldn't be. 
and I'll bet she does very well. I mean, I don't know how she's going to do. She should do great. But you see more and more of that, Jason, and I think it's a great thing.